Wednesday. My name is Erin. I hope you all are having a fabulous day so far and a great week. Um, today we're going to be focusing on squeeze pages, uh, which we also call them landing pages, but we will be going over the squeeze pages and kind of uh, going more in depth on how to set those up and get those going and get those all set up. So we have squeeze pages. Um, let me just pull up my calendar for next week. Um, and then next week we're going to be doing for sale by owners and I'm gonna show you some great little FISBO tips that we have. And then the following week we'll be focusing on community pages. So uh, squeeze pages today, next week working with FISBOs and the following week community pages. So we got a lot of great things in the works. Uh, we're really excited. I know the last few weeks I've mentioned that we're doing an open house, kind of like a relaunch party here locally. So if you're local here in Orange County, or if you want to fly in and have fun with us, um, we will be having it here in our office. It will be a um, kind of like a, uh, um, a catered event with a bar and all that stuff. And we'll have casino night. So kind of like a casino night, but we'll also be going over some of our new features, showing you our new dashboard that we're going to have and showing you some of our cool little relaunch features that we have. So if you're interested in attending that, I'm gonna keep bringing it up all the way up until the day of, um, that's gonna be September 13th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And again, that's here in Orange County, California. So if you're local, definitely stop by. If you wanna come visit us, you can always let me know and I can um, kind of share where to fly in, hotels, arrangements, and all that stuff. So we would love to have you. We're gonna have some great prizes and a lot of cool things going on. So we have that. Um, some other things we're working on, we are working on revamping kind of our dashboard here and kind of just making things a little more user-friendly, a lot prettier and fancier. and just looking nice. So we have our um, our programming team and our graphics team working on that. So we, as soon as that is done, we will definitely go over and do kind of like, um, we won't do it in What's Up Wednesday. We're going to do a separate uh, dashboard webinar. So when that gets set up and we have a kind of a release date for that, I'll go ahead and announce that and let you all know so you guys can all register and show you the new dashboard. So We'll have that, um, and then let me see, I'm just taking a look at my notes and making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so we have, we discussed a couple weeks ago, we have our new personal website templates. So we have layouts 11 and 12 now done. They're ready to go, so you can choose these templates. Again, layout 11 and layout 12. They are responsive websites, which means when you view it on your mobile phone, it's going to look exactly like your desktop version. If you use any of these other templates that we have, 10 and lower, they are going to be fixed websites, which means we're gonna convert it into a mobile version website. So if you're looking to have more of a responsive website, which is an exact duplicate on a mobile phone from what you have here, then 11 and 12 are going to be your options to you. Now with these website templates, we do offer free customization with our graphics team. So keep that in mind. You don't have to pay extra for graphics to have a website then. It's all included with agent marketing. So that's the beauty of our system. So we have that and we have two new property website templates. So I believe last week I showed you this one. Uh, we have this template here. This is going to be layout 13. So you can choose, or no, I'm sorry, this is layout 14. We're moving up in those numbers here. Um, so we have layout 14. So it's going to have the property information here, property photos, map, agent info. And then over on this one, this is going to be layout 15. So you'll see here, it's a beautiful HD image. It's gonna pull the first photo that you have in your photo gallery is the background image. And then you have all your little tabs here at the top. So this is layout 15. So definitely take a look at those. To get to the property website templates, you'll go to the property tab and then go to properties. Once you're here on your list of properties, you'll be able to click on the edit pencil. When you click on the edit pencil, you can go into layouts and controls. When you go into layout and controls, you'll see that you have layout 15, layout 14, and then you can choose all the other different templates that we have available for you. So you have this, be sure to take a look at those, use those. Those are gonna be some great little templates that we have available for you. 
Um, and one last thing I wanted to bring to your attention, we do have a great little checklist for those of you who are new to the system or maybe you've been with us for a while. We've had a lot of people asking where they can kind of get a list of all the top features that they should be using. So to give you a reminder, on your dashboard tab, you have a section called Let's Get This Party Started with Six Big Blue Tiles. As a lender or broker, you can print this off and give this to your agents and it's gonna be branded with your information. As an agent, you'll be able to print it off under your account, no matter if you're sponsored by your lender, broker, or you're on your own, you'll have access to this checklist. Use this as a way to go through and make sure you have your account fully set up. I like this because it's broken down into four sections showing you the top features that you should be utilizing within the system. So it goes over the getting set up, which a lot of you, I go in and check a lot of accounts throughout the day when I talk to people, and a lot of people don't have their automation set up, which is a huge feature. So take a look at this checklist and go through and just make sure you're utilizing the top features that you get using agent marketing. So you can use the getting set up, the property marketing, personal marketing, lead generation. There is also videos that go parallel with this checklist too. So if you need some extra help, you have these videos that will walk you through everything that's on that checklist. So you can use the videos, use the checklist. Again, that's gonna be on your dashboard tab. Sorry, my computer's being a little slow. That's gonna be on your dashboard tab. And then that's going to be under let's get this party started and you'll see six big blue tiles. If you're newer to the system, your let's get this party started is going to be more towards the top. If you've been with us for a while, yours will be towards the bottom. But take a look at these tiles. Go to tile number one, which is a startup checklist. A lot of good information on there, so be sure to take a look at that. All right, so our topic today, squeeze pages. So a lot of you may know a squeeze page as a landing page or kind of just a, um, a lead generation page that you can use when consumers can go fill out the information and then it sends you the lead. So we have them here under your leads tab. They're going to go to leads here or we're going to go to leads and then we're going to go to squeeze pages. Squeeze pages, landing pages, you'll see them here listed. Now these are great if you're looking for leads. You can post these on Facebook, put them on Craigslist, put them in your email signature. Really anywhere you can get these squeeze pages out, you wanna get them out because they're going to help you generate leads. And it's going to be an awesome little feature and a way for you to capture consumer information and get those leads added into your CRM. So make sure that you are using these squeeze pages. If you go to the add new button here in the top left hand corner, uh, there was a question coming in, where do I go to find the squeeze pages? You go to the leads tab over to the left-hand side, and then you go to squeeze pages. And then you'll see here that you'll land here on this page. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here on the add new button in the top left-hand corner. Now, when you click on the add new button, it's going to give you nine different templates to choose from. So you can choose any one of these templates that you would like to use. Now, the good thing with this is we have some that are good for loan officers, some that are good for brokers. We have a free form too, where you can create your own squeeze page as well. You can also do an IDX search if you have your IDX set up within our system. You can do an IDX search squeeze page as well. So those are always awesome. Um, I like the general purpose form because it does have a lot of good info in here. If you want something a little bit short and sweet, you can do like a pre-qualify or sell your home fast something pretty easy and generic if you want to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the general purpose form and I'm going to go ahead and click on next step. Now I like the general purpose because it gives you an option. It's kind of a template and you can go through and change all the text. So it's, I like it because it gives you a lot of good custom options. So now here it's going to give you the ad squeeze page control option. So here you're going to have a page key. This is going to be your URL for your squeeze page. So I'm just gonna do here, I'm gonna do sample. We'll do sample one. And then what you can do is you can actually go through and choose your page domain. So I'm just gonna do the one that it was uh, selected at, which is going to be infowebsite.org. So you have that. Now you can choose your lead processing, which is going to give you the option to add this into your CRM. 
So you can choose to add to your CRM. If you are using your top producer or sales force, you can always send it there too. So we can choose to add to the CRM. If you have somebody working with you, like an assistant or a business partner or anything like that, you can choose to notify another email or even send it to another email of your own too. So you can choose to do that. And then you also will have an option for an auto drip campaign. So if you wanna put them on an email drip campaign once they fill this out, you also have that as an option. I would recommend going through and setting up your email drip campaigns first and then going through and adding this in if you choose to do that. For the squeeze pages, you can choose to have us send you an email and a text message, so you have all of that set up. Now getting into the optional controls, the meta title and meta description, these are going to be more for SEO purposes. If you're good with the meta title and meta description, feel free to write in those little keywords and the words that you would need to do so. If you're unsure what the meta title and meta description is, you can always Google it because when I'm doing these squeeze pages, I always Google to kind of give me a little refresher on what a meta title is and what a meta description is. If you choose to leave that blank, we'll auto do this for you. But if you're pretty knowledgeable in this, I would definitely recommend filling in those fields. One thing that I always recommend doing, having this forward to somewhere, have it go to your personal website or another website. So that way when they fill out their consumer information, then it will forward them to your website. Maybe then they can look at your IDX or your property search or even the homes you have for sale. Maybe they wanna know more about you as an agent. So you can choose to have it forward to another email, which is really cool too. I like that because it gives you an option to send them somewhere else. That way they're not just sitting on your squeeze page and that's it. So it's kind of nice because then it gives them that option to go to another website, which is pretty cool. So you have that. And then the last option is you can do your HTML tracking code. So if you use like Google Analytics or anything like that, you can choose to add in those analytic codes. So you have that as an option as well. Now, once you have all of this filled out, you'll go ahead and hit submit, which then creates your squeeze page. So once you have that all set up, then it's gonna be listed here where you have all of these little blue icons here. So you can choose to view it, you can view the traffic, the widgets, the design, edit, and you can choose to delete. Now for me, I wanna go ahead and change the design a little bit. I wanna customize it and make it more to my, my own custom information. So here I can click on the design and it's gonna pull up this squeeze page for me so I can take a look at it. Sorry, my computer's being a little slow right now. So once we have this up, we'll be able to go through and kind of customize all the different information here. Now the cool thing with this one, and this is why I love you have an option to go through and customize all of the different text within the system. So you'll see here, anywhere that you see text, this is all clickable and all customizable, which means you can go through and you can change out any of this text here. So if you wanna say um, here, like sell your home first and then buy a house, or buy the house, then you can go through and you can just get rid of that and change it to something completely different. So if you have five different strategies that you wanna use, then you can go through and change all five of these bullet points. You could do five reasons to work with me as your real estate agent, and you can have the five different points on here. You have a lot of flexibility with this squeeze page, and that's why I love this one, because it allows you to go through and customize all of this information. So you have these five little bullet points. You could create a squeeze page that has five different bullet points about anything you want that can be anything you want to change. You can go through and say um, the five reasons why I'm your real estate agent and change this text here at the top. So five, so we could do five reasons why I should be your realtor. So you could do something like that and then have all your five reasons as to why they should be your realtor or why you should be their realtor. So you could do something along the lines of that. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of options that you can go through and change this squeeze page. So that's why I like this one. You can go through and change any of the content on here, even here where it says save thousands or get the whole report today, anything like that. I mean, you can go through and you can change that. The only thing you won't be able to change is um, these fields here and this little number code. 
You can even go and change the button too if you want. So see where it says button text? You can go ahead and have that button text changed and you can even change the color. So if you wanted to do like a bluish color, you can go ahead and change that. Um, as far as changing the background colors, as of right now, we don't really have an option. But if you need the colors changed to be something specific, we can definitely look into that and see if we can do that for you. So, um, you know, these are kind of the static colors right now, but definitely let us know. And I'm sure we can go through if you send us the number codes, I'm sure we can go through and customize the colors for you. I don't see that being a problem. So it gives you a lot of flexibility, a lot of options to be able to change the text and the freedom with this, which I really like that option. So we have that. Um, so you to hit save me and then it will go through and save all of your changes. Now at that point, once I've done that and I've saved, saved all my changes, then from there I can use this now as a live website. So I can always view the squeeze page. I can always go back and edit it too. So if I need to change any of this information, I can always go and click on this little edit button too. So you can always go change the text or the design. You can always go back and edit it. Now you have the little widget option. When you click on widgets, it's going to give you a little button generator, which generates a button that you can put on any website. So if you wanna add this little button onto your personal website, so somebody can click on the squeeze page, you can do that too. Uh, there is a little ad builder, and then you also have a Facebook timeline post that you can use too. So you have a lot of different things that you can do within these squeeze pages and you can create as many as you want. There's no limitations on the amount of squeeze pages that you choose to create. So if you wanted to go through and create a general purpose squeeze page, you wanted to create a, um, you wanted to create like an IDX search page, you could do that too. So really it gives you an option to go through and create as much as you choose. So say that I was gonna do the IDX one, so I would just do, I'm just gonna do sample and put an X here. And then for our page domain, we can just do area search and we'll just leave all of that as is. And what you can do too for the IDX page setup, this is going to give you your zip code list. You can enter in all your different zip codes. So I would do 92656, 92677, um, 92688. So I can choose to do all of this and then you can have a thank you text. So you can say thank you for filling out the information. I'll send you more info shortly or whatever you want it to fill out as. So then I can hit submit here. And now I have my IDX search one done too. So when I click on this, I'll show you what this one looks like. So this one is you deserve a change of scenery. Search new homes or uh, search homes new. So I can do here and it's going to give me the areas that I want to choose from. So here, what I would want to do is when I go to, I think, oh, so I did that wrong. My apologies. So you have to, instead of separating them by comma, I was like, why are they not populating in here? One zip code per line. If I could read, then we would be good to go. All right, let's try this again. So now I can do search homes new. And here it gives me all the different zip codes that I had typed in and I have 763 matches. So say that I only wanna have, I only wanna search for homes in Aliso Viejo. So now I can click continue to next step and I can choose, oh, I just wanna do residential. And then my price range, I'm gonna say no more, we'll say 500,000 is going to be my max. Um, I can choose to do, we'll say two plus, two plus any square feet and we'll say continue. And now it's going to capture their information. So now I can say Aaron Olson, fill out my info, and then we'll say 18, and we'll go to the last step. So it says, thank you, your information has been sent and somebody will contact you soon. Now I know that there's 40 matches and this is a good way to capture their information. So now I can send them the MLS search for Aliso Viejo with two bedrooms, two baths, and a limit of 500,000. So this is another good little IDX search. And for this one, you have an option to go through when you do the design. Let me just pull up the design portion. This one gives you an option to change out the background. So if you wanna do more of a residential looking one, uh, then you can do the residential. You can change out the text here. So keep in mind if you want that different. 
um, you can change to do the background color and you can also choose to do the button text and the button style a little bit different too. So all of those are going to be different ways that you have and can use these. Now keep in mind these are a URL so you can post these squeeze pages anywhere and everywhere. Get these links out as much as possible. The more you put those links out there, the better chances you are to get more leads, which is really awesome. Um, okay, so that's all I have for the squeeze pages. So I'm going to um, go ahead and open it up for questions here. Uh, there was a question asking, does having more squeeze pages give you better SEO? Not necessarily. If you're looking for better SEO for your squeeze pages, you would want to go to the edit section. And then you'll want to make sure that you're using the meta title and meta description. So if you go into, like I said, when I'm going through and creating these, if you go to Google and just type in meta title. So here it will give you the meta title is the title you give your web page within the meta tags. So when a person sees a link on your page from a search engine, it has a title to go to. So you'll see that just typing this in kind of gives you some examples and gives you some more information and kind of gives you a better understanding. For me, I'm not the best with SEO, so I always make sure I Google meta title, meta description when I'm doing websites or writing blogs. So that way I have that refresher in my mind. Okay, so this is what I need to do to make sure that I have my meta title done. This is what I need to do to make sure I have my meta description. So just make sure that you are kind of giving yourself a little recap. And if you don't put these in, that's fine. Our system will do it for you. But if you are familiar with that, feel free to go ahead and enter in that information too. So um, that's what I would recommend. Any other questions? You guys are quiet today. All right, so again, next week for the uh, topics we're going to be working, doing with the, um, the FISBOs, we will go over working with for sale by owners and showing you that. And then the following week, we will go over the community pages. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, what is the Facebook image URL? If you have a specific image URL that you want to use, you can copy that URL. Usually, I believe you'll want to put it on um, in your file locker, and then it will give you a URL. So that way, when you post to Facebook, it will use that image instead of what we provide. Any other questions? Um, if I use a different IDX, can I use it on my agent marketing site? As long as you, um, as long as you have a frameable link. If you have a frameable link, yes, you can. When you go into your personal websites within Agent Marketing, so if you go to uh, your little menu option, and then when you go to click on Add Page, when you go to Agent Pages, it will say Outside IDX property search URL. So you just click on this. And then if you have that frameable IDX link, you can paste it in here. So if you have questions or need to help doing that, just give our support team a call and they can walk you through step by step. But again, that's going to be under the personal tab, under personal website. And then you'll click here on the little menu option. So you'll edit menu and then click on add page. And then you'll go to agent pages. And then you'll see outside IDX property search URL. So you would select that one and paste in your URL that you have for your frameable IDX link. Uh, there was another question asking forwards to, um, please hit that again. So with the forwards to, that's just if you want them to go to another website. Once they fill out your squeeze page with their consumer information, if you had them going to your personal website, then as soon as they have that info within Within a few seconds, it would refresh and take them to your personal website so then they can review more information. So it's just once they filled out that information, what it is going to forward them to the next one. Any other questions? Anything else? Any other questions? All right, well, it looks like that's it for questions. So I really appreciate each one of you showing up today and attending What's Up Wednesday. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your Wednesday. Have a great week, and we will see you next Wednesday for working with this both. Thanks, everyone.